Hey everyone, in this video we're taking a look at a brand new lossless scaling frame generation plugin for the Steam Deck inside SteamOS Gaming Mode, which allows us to increase the frame rate of any game in our library, whether it's AAA, indie, or even emulated titles. This plugin has been exclusively developed to make the process of using lossless scaling frame generation within SteamOS as easy as possible, and we are releasing it right now for you all to download and install on any device running SteamOS, and I'll be guiding us step by step on how to achieve this as quickly as possible, showcasing the functionality of lossless scaling and how it works alongside demonstrating the plugin working in a few games. So before we get started, please give this video a like, subscribe to the channel, leave a comment and share this video with others. First thing we need to do is purchase and download lossless scaling from Steam in order for this all to work, as the plugin requires files from the official program in order to function correctly. Once downloaded, make sure that your version of SteamOS is up to date by pressing the Steam button, going to Settings, System and checking for updates. Once you're all updated, press the Steam button again, go down to Power and switch to Desktop Mode. Once we're in desktop mode, we want to open our web browser and we want to navigate to decky.xyz to be taken to the official Decky Loader website. We can do this by going into our address bar, pressing X and typing like so. From here, we want to choose download in the top right hand corner and download the installer to our downloads folder and select save. Now before we install Decky Loader, we want to make sure that a password is set for our Steam Deck and we can do this by going to System Settings in the bottom left hand corner and from here we want to scroll down to Users and we want to choose Change Password. Here I'm going to press X again for the Steam Keyboard and for ease of use I'm just going to type Deck, close the keyboard, press X again type deck and choose set password and on the prompt that appears I'm just going to choose leave unchanged. Now once that's done we're going to go to our downloads folder and we're going to double click on decky installer.desktop and we're going to choose continue here and now we're going to type our password that we just set so we're going to type deck and enter and on this screen we want to make sure that we choose release as we're on the stable channel of SteamOS and press OK and now Decky will be installed and we'll get a message to say that it was installed successfully so we can go ahead and press OK to close this. Now after Decky is installed we want to open our web browser again and we want to come over to the link I've pasted in the description for Decky Lossless Scaling VK. Here we want to scroll down to Releases and from here we want to go down and download losslessscaling.zip and we want to download this to our desktop or our downloads folder. So just click on the file and then we can just save inside our downloads folder. Once that's done we want to return to gaming mode we want to press the quick access menu button and we want to go down to our plug icon for Decky that has just appeared. We want to press right twice to our settings and here we want to go down in general and enable developer mode. Press left and we want to go down to developer and we want to choose install plugin from zip file. So we're going to choose browse and from here we're going to scroll down to downloads and we're going to choose our lossless scaling.zip that we just downloaded. Here we're going to go ahead and select install and once completed we're going to see lossless scaling appear on the right sidebar and inside we want to choose install LSFG VK where provided your purchased copy of lossless scaling is already downloaded and installed we'll see a confirmation message telling us everything is working successfully. 
Now going down the options available to us, we have Enable LSFG, which is toggled on by default, and we'll make sure the plugin is activated in games and deactivated when turned off. Our FPS multiplier allows us to increase the FPS, which by default is set to two times, and will increase the amount of generated frames by one, and then three times will generate two frames for every natural frame, and four times will generate three frames for every natural frame. Although experiences may vary in games, such as the introduction of artifacts, input lag, and warping. Our flow scale sets the resolution of our generated frames, so if we're lacking performance, we can try lowering the flow scale to get more performance at the sacrifice of visual quality. Our HDR mode toggle is for games with native HDR support. Our performance mode is an optional lighterweight version of lossless scaling that can provide additional performance, so please experiment with this on and off and let us know your results. An immediate mode disables VSync for reduced input lag. Once we're happy with our lossless scaling configuration, we need to go to our game. So for example, I'll choose Okami HD here, which is locked to 30 FPS. And we're gonna to go to settings. We're gonna go down to properties. And in our launch command, we're gonna press, and for every game, we're gonna press shift, choose curly bracket, forward slash, ls, fg, space, hold down L2, press percent, and we're gonna type command, and then press percent. So you should have the following command entered for any game that you want to use your lossless scaling configuration on. And we're gonna go ahead and press play. Now once we're in game with Okami HD, we can see that our FPS is now 60, thanks to the two times on our lossless scaling plugin. And I'm gonna change this to three times, go back, press the Steam button, and exit the game. And we're gonna press play again. And once we're in game with three times, we can see that our FPS is now 90. Now if we want to deactivate this at any time, all we need to do is toggle off Enable LSFG, and we can see it's still in effect, but when we press the Steam button, and exit the game, and run again, and we can see that the game is now back to normal with its natural locked 30 FPS. Another game which is hard capped at 30 FPS is Shin Megami Tensei 3 Nocturne, so we're going to go to our settings, go down to properties, and we're going to enter the same launch options as before. We're going to press the quick access menu button, go to lossless scaling, enable LSFG, and set our FPS multiplier to two times. And then we're going to go back and simply go ahead and press play. And once we're in game, we can see that our FPS has doubled to 60. And I have a dedicated video on the channel if you would like to see this game running at its natural 30 FPS. Now let's move over to something like PS2 emulation, where I have the app image installed from Emudeck and added to Steam as a non-Steam game. I've got the launch option set, and when I go in and press play and select Shadow of the Colossus, and in Shadow of the Colossus we can see that I'm getting around 90 to 120 FPS, which this game is of course locked to 60 FPS like all PS2 games. We're gonna to go to the quick access menu, and we can see I've got two times set, but we can make the FPS better and more consistent by going to our performance tab and enabling manual GPU clock to 1600 megahertz. And you can adjust this to your own preference and see what works. And now the game feels a lot smoother and we seem to be hitting the hundreds a bit more. Now before we wrap up the video, I have a few important things to note that are important for us all to understand. Unlike Deki Frame Gen, which modifies game files to enable DLSS with FSR frame generation, the lossless scaling plugin doesn't touch your game files at all. It works with a wide range of games and supports all DirectX versions, Vulkan and OpenGL. No DLSS or DirectX 12 is required, just toggle it on and off anytime, making sure to relaunch your game afterwards. If a game isn't working, Try using the latest GE Proton, which I've linked a dedicated guide in the description to install this. When testing games with the plugin, please drop a comment with the game name, your experience, and settings used. You can also join the official Lossless Scaling Discord linked below to share your results. Now I'd like us all to give a massive shout out and thank you to Pancakes 
for her original creation of the lossless scaling Linux compatibility layer, so that this can all work in the first place. And a big thank you to Kurt Heimbork, aka Jason Derulo, for creating the lossless scaling Decky plugin and including my feedback following extensive testing. Links to both of their GitHubs can be found in the description to learn more. All the methods shown here today are ready to use, so please dive in, experiment, and share your results. This is a huge leap forward for the Steam Deck, handheld, and Linux gaming communities. And please stay tuned to the channel for future updates, Decky Store release news, and upcoming features currently in development. Now if you enjoyed this video and learned something new today, please give this video a like, subscribe to the channel, leave a comment, share this video with others, have a great rest of your day, and I'll see you later.